Cogieron a mi mujer, la vendieron. Pero no sé a quién. Calvin Candy. Es el dueño de la cuarta mayor plantación de algodón de Mississippi, Candyland. Al parecer, ahí es donde está tu mujer. Django just wants his girl and he does something about it. Hagámoslo. Jamie's perfect in this role. He's the perfect, courageous cowboy out for, out for love. ¿Cómo te llamas, Marrudo? Se llama Django Freeman. Hmm. He oído hablar de ti. He oído que le vas contando que los mandingos no valen una mierda, que nada de lo que venden merece la pena comprarlo. Siento curiosidad. ¿Qué te hace ser tan experto en mandingos? Siento curiosidad porque siente curiosidad. When I saw what Jamie was doing, you know, it's it's a, a wonderful characterization. ¿Qué has dicho, mocoso? Cálmate, Butch. Sin ánimo de ofender. No hay ofensa. He's done a wonderful job of bringing a strong, sort of silent character that speaks when he needs to speak and acts when he needs to act. What was interesting was that how do you play the slave, a person who can't read? How do you go all the way back and allow the ghosts of slaves or ancestors to speak to you? ¿Cómo te llamas? Django. And Quentin challenged me on that. First time we went in the rehearsal, I was like, no, I want to say it like this, I want to say it. And I was really putting me in the character. And he pulled me to the side, he says, this is what I was worried about. And grabbing someone like you, can you actually play a slave? And it hit me like, wow, he's questioning me, like, you know. And that made me work harder. So I made sure that every time I stepped in there, I gave up to it. I have to say, I was pretty taken with Jamie. He really got what I was trying to do. He understood the story I was trying to tell. He knew what this movie could be. He knew what this movie could mean to his children. You know, the next generation of black kids growing up are going to grow up in a world where Django Unchained already exists. It could even be a rite of passage as far as watching it is concerned. And he's a great cowboy. Eso me lo dice el hombre. Que me hizo matar a otro hombre delante de su hijo. Y ni pestañeó. ¿No se acuerda? Sí, claro que me acuerdo. Lo que dijo fue, este es mi mundo. Y en mi mundo hay que ensuciarse. Eso es lo que yo hago. Me estoy ensuciando. 